Welcome back guys. It's the final episode of the search for Nigeria's best dishes brought to you by Nigeria's number one best-selling dishwashing liquid, Morning Fresh. So we have experienced the many rich dishes from the different regions of Nigeria, from the east to the west, to the north and to the south. And guys, I sure had fun and I'm sure you also did. So guys, for the very last time, we get to meet the top four finalists for this season and in no particular order, I'm going to be calling them. Um, I'm going to be calling Pamela from the East. All glorious in her attire. Come on, you look so sweet. <laughs> and up next from the North, I'm going to be calling Nick Majid. He's going to walk in majestically in his attire. Welcome. Thank you, <laughs> you look so good. Then next, I'll be calling Uti Olabinkwe from Oyo State. Hey, we're so. <laughs> then up next, I'll be calling Loretta. Loretta is from the south, and of course, she's dressed the part. So welcome, guys. Um, it's good to see you guys again. And thank you for all the sumptuous meals you prepared. And guess what? I am not alone. I have a special guest in our midst today, and we are not alone. This is going to be a very fun and interactive session. I have the head of category home care hygiene for PZ Cousins in our midst. Her name is Ejiro, and she's going to come in upstage now. Can we give Ejiro a round of applause? Welcome, Ejiro. <laughs> So welcome Ejiro, these are the beautiful top finalists. They threw it down in the kitchen from the first episode to the last episode and it was a really beautiful experience for me and of course the viewers at home. And I want to ask you personally, you've watched all of them from all of the episodes. What was your experience um, throughout all of the episodes? Okay, so thank you Tolani. You're welcome. Uh, I'll start by saying thanks to the top four finalists. Um, big kudos to you all, um, job well done. Um, I'm sure that you um, excited me as you've excited Nigerians at home. So it's been wonderful getting to learn from you all. Um, I just have to go back memory lane. Morning Fresh Search for Nation's Best Dishes has evolved from what it was in the first season to where we are right now. Something bigger. We started from the online activity and now we have the online activity which is the phase one and then we have the offline activity. This year, we had a themed direction, which is the old Niger dishes. And for us, we see it as a great platform and opportunity of getting Nigerians to actually come and relieve good memories, relieve old memories, and bring back those dishes that were fun, very healthy and nutritional. This year will also be very amazing and fantastic because we actually have a male contestant that came all the way from the edge Entries and participation, and actually got to the top finalists. So I'm sure for the past couple of episodes we've had, you've taught Nigerians a whole lot. You've taught me a whole lot. So I've got to learn a lot. So I'm going to start from, you know, Pamela. So I've learned a lot from the East. I'm going to go into Majid, and it's great to see you here, you know. And he's done a lot from the North. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Bing Bay, you know. She's done a lot from the West, and of course, I'm going to end with Laura, who's done a lot repping the southern part of Nigeria. So we're proud in Nigeria. Um, I just want to end with this. Please remember that we're morning fresh Everybody is a, is a winner. I am sure they've heard that a lot. And also it's, it's been evident because every single one of you here are going to go on with quality prizes. So, and I cannot wait to get to that point. So I'm going to let um, Ejiro round up so we can move on today. So I, I guess we've really said it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm so excited. I definitely believe you all are. And you know, so I'll say over back to Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ejiro. That was a very good one. Um, so quickly, you just give us a quick recap of how your experiences were um, during your episodes. You know, you guys brought down the kitchen, literally, from prepping your meals to, you know, 
every single thing that we did on that stage, it was a very good experience, taking us way back, like the Adalu, the way she cooked that Adalu with coconut milk. I'd never seen it before, and it was really, really good to see that, you know, we cook with the same ingredients, but different types of meals. So, um, Pamela, let us know, how was your experience with your episode? How was it like from the entry, when you saw the, um, sorry, when you saw the, um, call for entry what was your reaction like why did you get into the competition and why did you get why did you get into the showcase and um you are here now how do you feel to be you know among the top four finalists thank you very much when i saw the competition i was like wow this is lovely because i thought of a lot of dishes my grandma used to make for us because growing up interesting most of the time i was with my grandmother because my mommy was going to school then mm -hmm. so i thought of a lot of dishes she used to make i don't see them anymore a lot of people don't even know them wow. a lot of evils don't know them mm -hmm. so i was now confused which one do i make I read the terms and conditions. You have to cook it if you win. Mm -hmm. So, so I was checking the one that I can really go on with, and this went Mwefa. Oh, mo. when I heard that name, Mwefa, I'm like, what is Mwefa? I've never heard it before. Then I saw beans. I'm like, yo, this is going to be interesting. But you really did good. You really, really did well. good. I'm going to come back to you, and um, we are going to just, you know, move on to Majid. So, Majid, you prepared Mian Dusheshe Kubewa Datuo Shinkafa. How was it? <laughs> How was your experience, you know, from the beginning up until this moment? Yeah, actually, when I uh, get the call to uh, put in my video there, mm -hmm. one of the things that came into my mind was one, in the north is not our thing. Mm -hmm. Kitchen is strictly for the women. But now I said, okay, it's an opportunity for me to say, no, I think the narrative has to change. We exactly. also can do uh, likewise and couple with uh, the uh, northern food is not always that popular on, the, mm -hmm. on this side of the world kind of. So I say it's an opportunity for me to bring out what I've been enjoying when I, my mom was alive and I was young being with her. Let me try to see if I can turn it back to uh, the place. And you sure did. You sure did. I mean, it's right. something that I would recreate definitely. Mark my words. And look out for it on my page also. <laughs> Mian Bushesche Kubewa the two shinkapa. I got it right guys. <laughs> Thanks to Body Fresh. No, I got to, I got to learn new interesting meals. Come on. So I'm moving on to being paid now. The girl from Ogomosho in Oyo State. You can see that she's dressed the part and you look so beautiful. So tell us how was your experience from the beginning up until this final selection? So basically when I saw the challenge online, anywhere there's food, you're definitely going to find it. <laughs> and the fact that the challenge was coming from Morning Fresh, because I appreciate Morning Fresh as a brand. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, I need to upload my video, even though my phone was giving me challenges at the time, like, devil, you're a liar. I will upload <laughs> and so I did, and I was so elated when I got the message that I've been selected, because any small thing, I could have not uploaded the video. So I was excited that I got selected. I'm coming on the show, and, you know, having to recreate a meal that I grew up with, where my mom, my late mom, and I was like, it's an opportunity to show people that you can't just cook adalu normally. You can spice it a little bit. I know most people still make adalu in their house. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. But like, let there be a twist, let there be some thoughts in it. And then I decided to add some coconut milk as my mom would have, would normally cook it. And the fact that we had chef on the show, she had to take my food. I was like, yo! Oh, and and you sure bad. did. I'm sure your mommy is smiling <laughs> down right now and saying, that's my daughter. <laughs> so Loretta, you've just been smiling all day, you know. I know that feeling, you know. You get to showcase that meal that, you know, you remember cooking. Never I remember Adalu, I remember Saturday mornings where we get to pick beans, pull out the corn from the cob. It's, yeah, it was work then, but it's great memories for us now. So I really appreciate Mom, uh, Morning Fresh for, you know, doing this, for coming up with this initiative and all of that. And, you know, we hope to even see more in the next coming season. So Loretta, tell us how do you feel? I just want to know how you feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my feeling right now is 
as in it's all, in fact, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you has made me speechless because the whole experience of you coming to a live show with Chef mm -hmm. Tolani, Terror of a Kitchen Lover, in fact, it's, a, it's an interesting experience and I just want to thank Money Fresh for this awesome opportunity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys did awesome. You did good. And Ejiro has a question for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think just to throw this in there, um, one of the things that I've also learned, because I mean, it was a learning curve for me, um, is the food that we prepared in all of this. Um, I'm just looking at um, the kids between the ages of you know, 10, 15. I'm sure most of this food sounds really strange, but you know, they're so nutritional, you know, so healthy meals. I remember when you were talking about, what, what was the special she, thing she called it? Um, uh, uh, soup of, of life. Soup of yeah. life. So, they, you know, they, they, they have good nutritional benefits. Yeah. Right now, we're just limited to the everyday, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, how mm -hmm. work can be. So you just cook the easy and everyday kind of meals. But I think this has really been helpful. I know that a lot of Nigerians have learned a lot. Um, so just a quick question there. Um, what would you have to say about the brand Money Fresh and you know, with the whole activity? Yes. Yeah, you can go Bing Pei. Yeah. All right. So um, thank you to Money Fresh for this great opportunity. It's great to see that um, um, Money Fresh, they see their end users. This show makes us feel we are seen. And um, the opportunity it gives, because I'm a food vendor and an aspiring food vlogger, so this is an opportunity for me, and this is all thanks to Morning Fresh. So it's great to see that it's not that it's not just that they push products out to people; they get to bring back their end users and create platforms like this, challenges like this, shows like this, to just you know put people out there and just you know. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anybody else? Yeah, I mean, the one thing I think is an opportunity for me to say something. First of all, the Money Fresh brand, the lemon zest is something I love working with. Huh? The, <laughs> the kind of uh, fragrance leaves on your plate. And the ladder. And the ladder. So yeah. That's an opportunity to say it out there. That it's, you guys have done a great and fabulous job. On that. Thank you. Thank you. For me, it's the Morning Fresh original. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for me too. Yes. Even though, me, even though I'm Auntie Back is trying to drag me, but I remain with the original because I really, I literally grew up, you know, using the Morning Fresh original. But you know, every other variant still excellent. excellent. Yes. I still Still <laughs> 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 How about you? I'm okay with all the brand. I'm okay with everything. In fact, I love the way it foams. Mm -hmm. Just a drop actually make a difference. Yeah, it like that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to allow Ajiro um, leave now so we can have like a chit chat. You know, a quick chit chat now. <laughs> thank you for joining us, Ajiro. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So guys, here we are, the final, final episode. I'm going to drop my book <laughs> because I just want you guys to feel very comfortable as I speak to you. Um, you guys did super amazing. Like it was, it felt so surreal seeing um, what I do seeing it seeing people do what i do with so much passion you know you guys you guys literally came on that stage and threw it down from your prepping to um your organization to the way you cooked your food to the twists that you guys added like coconut milk in beans i've never heard of it before and i am a food person so that's the essence of this entire showcase. And you know, I just want to let you guys know that it was never a competition. It is not a competition. It is just a showcase. We just wanted this opportunity to showcase, you know, the all different meals, unique meals from different regions of Nigeria. And I'm sure for everyone watching this episode, um, they can literally relate with everything that you guys have, have prepared, you know. And I, like I always say everywhere I go to, with Morning Fresh, everyone is a winner, you know? There is no first position, no, everybody goes home with, you know, amazing prizes. But you know, with Chef T, <laughs> <laughs> So I don't want to say it, I'm judging or I don't want to say, but you know, something stood out during your preparations and you know, I just have to, you know, 
say it that way, I'm going to start by um, picking one of you um, individually to talk about what you've prepared, how I perceived what you prepared, and you know. So I'm going to be starting with my guy, <laughs> Majid. First of all, I want to say, you know, you did so well. This is the beginning for you. After this show, I want you to pursue what you have done now because it is always very, very, I always appreciate seeing men doing these things and doing it excellently. I literally sat down there and almost finished your food, you know, from the fact that I knew you were a guy, you cooked it, then you made the rice swallow, then you used dried okra, the fish, and you know, all the condiments you used to achieve that, you know. I liked it so well you know and you know the ingredients you used the only thing that i found a little fault in and that's because probably because you didn't taste while cooking was your food was a bit too tasty but too spicy too salty sorry so there was a little bit of you know more salt and everything but i'm sure it's something you can always you know walk around when you are cooking in your home and you know when you eventually open your own restaurant insha Allah <laughs> you know so I think that was the only thing I found but your pace your plating I saw the way you were mixing the rice trying to mold it and everything you know everything just worked really fine for you and you know this is just to encourage you that you know with money fresh everyone is a winner so whatever price you're going on with this day just take it with your full chest knowing sure. that I did that Privilege. you know you did that <laughs> so well done well done Majid yeah. well done so I'm going to go um, straight to being pay um, I, I just know I don't I just I just I just don't know I just have this special likeness for her maybe because she's from you know she's a Yoruba <laughs> girl <laughs> and I'm also a Yoruba girl and she cooked something I am very familiar with even though she added her own twist though but you know that was what made yours really special and girl you were so neat while cooking i am a neat freak and i'm sure you know that so for every time i'm at time i'm cooking or for every time i see people cooking around me i always like to watch while they are cooking how you are cleaning how you are doing stuff and everything and i saw that passion in you i saw the way you were cleaning while cooking and girl your plating you learned well you learned well that plating was so good you plated beans and corn like no my growing up we just pour beans and corn inside a uh, plastic plate some people even pour gary on top but you put the beans in the small saucepan then you even use skewer for the plantain then that fish was so tasty you really really did excellence yeah. loretta black soup ah, guys i remember the day i shared a black soup recipe on my page and everybody was the, page, the, the post did excellent because everybody could relate so it's black soup but different people cook their black soup differently so she used you used um, um uz, uz, uziza we don't use uzuza for us we use scent leaf and we use um efiri you understand so i was actually expecting to see that then i saw the other types of leaves and i'm like wow you can actually cook black soup with you know then the cow leg the pando yam and everything you know everything just worked together you know to taste excellently you know the food could have been a lot tastier if you had added more seasoning but that's not my own personal preference you know everybody cooks their food differently and all that then timing and all that even though yes it wasn't a competition and everything but me i'm a sharp sharp cooker and i expect people around me to also you know let's do this thing and let's move on so i think that's basically the only issue i had but overall you did very well the food was really tasty it was so good and um, I like the fact that you know you came with that black soup and you taught us how to cook black soup this is what the show is all about teaching you how to cook or showcasing how to cook you know the same meals with different methods and you know more colorful looks and everything so well done Loretta you did really good so my dear Pamela pam, pam, give me that thing <laughs> well done well done you cooked mwefa like the first time i ate it i was like what are you cooking then you know you started to mix the beans and the everything out of fire nigerians culture is so interesting our food especially should be like a tourist attraction because 
people need to experience, you know, the method of cooking. Like, how would I ever have imagined eating rice swallow? Rice as swallow. Normally, I would have just, as a Yoruba girl, make stew and just eat it like that, you know. So, Nigerian culture is so interesting. I like the fact that, you know, Money Fresh is bringing this to uh, to the limelight. And Pamela, you did so well with your mwefa, the way you added all the condiments and everything just worked together. The only thing I had was timing and that was the only thing. And, you know, surroundings, you know, Money Fresh, we are, we are neat freaks and everything, but, you know, it was a showcase and I know that, you know, we are on the stage and at a point you might even get tensed and, you know, just forget a particular thing and everything. So it's really not, you know, an issue, an issue and everything. So well done, guys. Well done. You know, you know this is it's really, really commendable. You guys should, you guys should actually, you know, do this after this show. Remember, Money Fresh is a brand for all. Money Fresh is a brand for winners. And with Money Fresh, everybody is a winner. So guys, it's the time we have all been waiting for the prizing. I don't see the excitement in your Yay! faces. Yippee! I mean, there's a double door refrigerator, wow. gas cooker, yes. air conditioner, and the likes for you to go with today. Come on. All thanks to Morning Fresh. So guys, um, this is, like we said, it is not a competition, it's a showcase, and we appreciate the fact that, you know, you have come to show us your old Niger dishes and, you know, take us all the way back the memory lane. And um, this is just basically based on, you know, who stayed true to the theme of this season, which is the old Niger dish. It's nutritional values and, you know, general cooking and what it looked like and all of that. So the first person I'm going to be calling in, um, the first person I'm going to be calling that stay true to the old Niger dishes team is Loretta. Congratulations, Loretta. You are going on with the higher thermocool double door refrigerator. All thanks to Morning Fresh. How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> you feel excited. You feel, feel, you feel great. You feel excited. And you know, all thanks to Morning Fresh. Yeah. going to be calling following the theme and all of that after Loretta is Nick Majid. Congratulations Majid. You are going home with the higher thermocool 1.5 horsepower air conditioner. I'll be calling is Binkwe, the Ajalu girl. She's going on with the higher Tomoku washing Woo! machine. Nice and nice. 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 Everybody is a winner. Nice. And of course, my Pam Pam is going on with <laughs> the four burner gas Woo! cooker. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> With money fresh. Everybody. On behalf of the brand Money Fresh, I want to wish everybody, because this is the holiday season, so I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Nigeria's number one best selling dishwashing liquid. So my people, we have come to the end of this season's search for Nigeria's best dishes, brought to you by Nigeria's number one best-selling dishwash liquid, Morning Fresh. You have enjoyed all the meals from the different regions of Nigeria and you have seen the amazing prizes that they won. So stay tuned to see all we have in store for you in the season five of the search for Nigeria's best dishes, brought to you by Morning Fresh. And until then, I remain your loyal chef, T. Bye!